Okay, so we're moving on to section 4.6, which is triangle congruence, CPCTC. And our objective today is to use CPCTC to prove parts of triangles are congruent. And CPCT, ugh, I just messed up. CPCTC stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And you use this after you have proven the triangles are congruent. So let's do an example proof right here. So go ahead and pause the video and copy everything down. Okay, welcome back. And we're going to now uh, prove that angle CAB is congruent to angle DAB. So remember our steps to writing a proof. Start with your bright colored pencil and put a box around what we want to prove and draw it on the picture. So CAB is here and DAB is here. That's my goal. That's what I want to prove. I am given, so here's my other color, this information here, which is AC is congruent to AD. And also CB is congruent to DB. And now I'm going to look at the picture and I'm going to see that the two triangles share AB. So they share AB in the middle there. So now let's talk about our plan. What is our plan going to be? So first of all, we need to prove the triangles are congruent. So triangle ACB is congruent to triangle ADB. And how are we going to prove that? Well, remember my choices are side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and hypotenuse leg. So I'm looking at this and I don't see any right angles, so I'm going to automatically cross out hypotenuse leg. I also notice that I don't have any angles given to me. This angle here, remember, is my angle that I want to prove, so I can't use it to prove the triangles are congruent. So everything that has angles in it won't work. So that means I'm left with side, side, side. That's how I'm going to prove the triangles are congruent. Then I'm going to do my proof statement and I'm going to use CPCTC for what I want to prove. So there's my plan. Now I'm ready to go ahead and write my proof. Okay, so my first plan of my proof is to prove that the two triangles are congruent to each other by side, side, side. Well, I'm given two of the sides here, so let's go ahead and write those. AC congruent AD and CB congruent to DB. And that's given to me. So I have just done two sides of my side, side, side. So that means I can go back up to my plan and cross off two of my sides. I still need the third side written. Notice I haven't done that yet. So that'll be my second step is AB is congruent to AB. They share that side and my reason is reflexive. So there's my third side and so I can cross that off my plan. So now I have side, side, side is done, which means now I can say that the triangles are congruent. So triangle ACB congruent to triangle ADB, and my reason is side, side, side. So that part of my plan is also finished. Okay, now I want to say that what I want to prove is true because of this new um, thing that you learned today, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent to each other. So step four is going to be what I want to prove. And my reason is CPCTC. And we're done. Okay, we proved what we wanted to prove. So we'll be doing more examples of proofs in class. Thanks for watching.